So Capricorn, in the recent past, we have the Emperor. Now you could have found yourself falling for someone who was older than you at that time. This person was more than likely to be attracted to order, logic, and organization. The attraction may not have been mutual from the very start, but if you were patient and persistent, it was likely to grow. Remember that fireworks at the beginning, they're all well and good, but if you really ask yourself how long do fireworks last, The, the, well, the answer would be a slow burning connection is more likely to far outlast the fireworks. Once again, a slow burning connection is, is, um, is likely to far outlast the fireworks. And that's with the emperor and it's paired with the empress. Now, this is a very this would have been a very potent time for love, and you may have found that men and women alike were suddenly finding you more attractive, both for friendship and romance, and you would have wanted to be careful with how you use that power at that time. Also, don't underestimate its potency if you were single and you were looking, then this would have been a time when true love would have came your way. In fact, if you were single and not looking, then true love probably seeks you out anyway. Committed relationships often become, became sweeter, deeper, and truer under the influence of the Empress. Now that's the recent past, so we move on to the present. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Now it's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated or is possibly no longer going to suit your needs. Keep in mind, this doesn't mean that if you are in a committed relationship that it's doomed. It does not mean that it's doomed, but only that you'll need to take action to make sure that it makes it. So talk about how you're feeling. That's gonna be your best bet. And if you're looking for a relationship, first get very clear on exactly who you're looking for, then get out and socialize, mix and mingle, whether it's online or by allowing friends to introduce you to someone who fits the bill. And the Wheel of Fortune is paired with the Hangman. Now this is about letting go, letting go of an unattainable lover, for example. It's gonna bring about the possibility that someone you can be with will be there for you. But that's only one example. You may need to, to let go of a particular vision of a kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. If you're in a relationship already, that too may well be at a crossroads. If you think the relationship is great and fabulous, be sure to find out where your partner's head is at this time. With these two cards paired together, the Wheel of Fortune, your relationship needs to be rene renegotiated at this time. It no longer suits your needs. And it doesn't mean that it's doomed. It doesn't mean that it's over. But you have to take action at this time to make sure it happens. And it's paired with the, the hangman. So... The hangman is about letting go of an attain unattainable lover or perhaps a situation. So the relationship that you're needing to renegotiate um, to better fit your needs so that it makes it, um, it's about letting go. So you kind of like at a crossroads. Should you try to make this work or should you let it go? Because the hangman, it's about being at a crossroad too. So yeah, that's a decision you're going to have to make. Um, the relationship, like I said, it no longer suits your needs. And it needs work. So you're at a crossroads with the hangman. Should you try to work on it or should you let it go? That's what you're trying to figure out. And that's a present. And now we move on to the challenge. We have the eight of pentacles. 
Now, with the Eight of Pentacles, if you're already in a relationship, uh, your workload or that of your partner may be interfering with the relationship. You have to make a point to make time to make space for the relationship, regardless of your jobs. Otherwise, the relationship is going to suffer. Let's see, if you're looking for love, the appearance of this card is showing... It's showing that you're too focused on money and what you do for a living to really create space or, or a life or a relationship. You're too focused on money right now. So consider your priorities and where your time and energy goes if you really want love and make sure you have the room for it. The Eight of Pentacles is paired with the Sun card. Now this is a time if you are in a committed relationship when both of you and your lover may be in a more than usual need of space. This is not the time to be whiny, clingy, or needy. So if you're looking for love, it definitely could be on the horizon for you. With these two cards paired together, the Eight of Pentacles, your workload or that of your partner, it's interfering in the relationship. You're way too much focused on money at this time. It's paired with a sun card. Uh, you're needing space. If you're in a relationship, you, both of you are needing space. And now is not the, not the time to complain about uh, the problems in the relationship. Now is not a time to be whiny and clingy. Uh, you're needing space and you're, you're working too much to really make the relationship work. So you're gonna have to refocus this towards the relationship and take some space apart if you're going to try to make it work. And you're gonna have to prioritize and put some effort and energy into keeping the relationship and make sure that it's part of your life just like the work is instead of making the relationship second. But you need space first, and then that will clear your head to get your thoughts together about how to make it work and how to prioritize and make the relationship just as much a part of, or just as much of an importance as it is for the work. So both is needed, the space and then um, coming together with an effort or a plan to fit the relationship into the work time. You need to give both equal equal time. And that's going to be the challenge. And now we move on to the outcome. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So if you're already in a relationship, it can rise to new and better heights really soon. The two of you will reconnect. If you're looking for love, this is a very positive time to get out and meet people. Something new could start that is very promising in terms of love. So be prepared and think positive. The Ace of Pentacles is paired with the Seven of Wands. If you're already in a committed relationship with the Seven of Wands, the clear message is that trust is crucial. If you're feeling suspicious for some reason about your partner, make it a point to talk about it, even if it's difficult. Being passive aggressive is only going to make things worse. If you're looking for love, you may meet someone interesting now, but try to avoid appearing as though you aren't interested in a relationship because prospective suitors, they will move on to someone who is more engaging. So you have to try to figure out how to strive for balance. With these two cards paired together, the Ace of Pentacles, if you're in a relationship, it's going to rise to new and better heights soon. The two of you have reconnected from the challenge. Uh, it looks like you worked it out. Uh, the outcome is showing that you, you two have reconnected. Uh, you figured out how to make the relationship a priority just as much as work 
And so with Ace of Pentacles, you you two, you worked on that. And it, the relationship, it took off to better, took off to, it, it rose to new heights. It rose to better heights and to new understandings and a deeper commitment. The two of you have reconnected, like I said, with the Ace of Pentacles. And being that it's paired with the Seven of Wands, trust is crucial. You could be feeling suspicious about your partner. Okay, so the relationship has gotten better. It's improved. And the two of you have reconnected. But you still have some trust issues. So, like every relationship, there's there's some issues and problems. And um, you just have to be able to make it a point to talk about it, even if it's difficult. You've got trust issues still going on. So, talk about it, once again, even if it's difficult. Because being passive-aggressive, it's, it's only going to make things work. And right now... You two are at a great place because you've reconnected and the relationship has taken off to a higher level. And that's the outcome. So Capricorn, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. But then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.